Hi, I'm the Beauty Professor, and you can find my beauty blog at www.beautyprofessor.net. Really quickly, I want to give a quick thank you to Monsieur Alex, who has an amazing YouTube channel and who gave me a really sweet shout out a week or so ago. I also want to thank my new subscribers to this channel. I'm always learning and growing and I thank you for being right there alongside me in this beauty journey. It's late afternoon, right after work, and so I'm battling the light that I know will certainly vanish in the coming hour or so. I'm going to quickly cover a new foundation routine that I've been experimenting with since this weekend. It involves two of my favorite long-term perennial products. One is the By Terry Sheer Expert, which is an amazing foundation. I also heavily cover By Terry Cover Expert, which has a corresponding set of shades in that line as well. I'm also covering the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer in SX06, which looks like this. It's a nice light yellow based beige. So here's how I've been using these two products together. My winter skin is at about an NC23 to 25 right now, and hopefully the lighting in this room is making that apparent. At any rate, I am going through foundation like crazy trying to find this perfect match for what I would consider my transition skin. My tan, which lasts an inordinately long amount of time, has basically faded, and so I'm trying to find the right match of foundation amongst all the things that I Now, use. I love the By Terry Sheer Expert because it's the perfect match tonally for me. At a number seven, which is vanilla beige, it has a perfect combination of beige and yellow tones. And this foundation, see if you can see it here on my wrist. There we go. This foundation is uh, neither orange nor pink. It's a nice neutral, and if anything, it's got a, a little yellow to it, but nothing over the top. Now, as I've blended it into my wrist, you can see that it is quite sheer indeed, and that's nice. I do like the lightness, and sometimes Cover Expert, while it is pretty indetectable, it does provide a heavier coverage, and sometimes I'm just not in the mood for that. That being said, the Sheer Expert can go on a little surer than I prefer when I want some extra coverage. So I was kind of musing about what I could do to make this work, give me some more coverage, but not as much coverage as the cover expert, the problems we beauty lovers create in our mind. At any rate, I decided to couple it with a product I've had for a long time, which was the Sensual Skin Enhancer by Kevin Aquan. Certainly this project product has a, certainly this product has a serious cult following of devotees who love the intense pigmentation. Okay, so I've just taken the slightest amount of this product, probably too much even for this demonstration, and I'm going to rub it into my wrist. You can see the opacity is absolutely insane, and you just need the slightest amount to cover a significant portion of the face. So what do you do when one of your products gives you not enough coverage while the other gives you an inordinate amount? You blend the two. So I have some foundation left from much earlier today. It's already the early evening and I put this on at like seven this morning. I'm going to show you what I like to do with these two products. First off, I'm going to just take a little bit of my Cover Expert in number seven and I'm going to take a small amount just on my finger, and I just make sure my hands are very clean since I'm using my fingers here. I take this, just this daub of product, and I'm going to, oh gosh, smush it onto my hand and just blend until I get this incredibly perfect yellow-based beige, and the opacity is insane, as I've already mentioned. Now, I'm just going to dot this onto my fingertip, and then I'm going to dot it onto my face. Try to get close so you can see this process. And I just pat it into the skin. I find that fingers work best with this particular combination of products because it just warms it up. And the Sheer Expert's fluidity and slight luminosity just cut the thick opacity of the Sensual Skin Enhancer, but the Sensual Skin Enhancer 
adds a coverage that is virtually undetectable, it just perfects the skin. I have almost every swatch of the Sensual Skin Enhancer, in addition to the By Terry Cover Expert, which will give you a sense of the range of colors on my blog, beautyprofessor.net. So readers always ask me, between the color matching that I do for them in foundation and the suggestion about which formula, they're always asking me, well, how do I make the Sensual Skin Enhancer, which is obviously so thick, and I've had this for a couple of years, just to give you a sense of how little of this product is necessary. Say, so how can I cut it while still maintaining the color and coverage? And seriously, the combination of the Sheer Expert with the Sensual Skin Enhancer is the answer that I can't wait to share with my readers since I've been experimenting. Now I can just take a little more, and I'm gonna dab it into this area here. And once again, with ample padding, this does just blend into the skin, creating a perfectly even canvas. A little more on this side. It's not what I would call a matte finish, but maybe more of a satin finish. And that's due to the light reflecting particles in the By Terry Sheer Expert. And put a little more in my nose area. Both of these products are fairly heavily fragranced, but I have extremely sensitive skin and I haven't noticed any reactions in all the years of wearing these two products. In fact, the scent, oddly enough, is more bearable for me when I combine the two, if that makes any rational sense whatsoever. Okay, up close. You can see that the skin is even, there's no heavy texture, it feels very light. And it truly does, this combination does last for a, a decent amount of time. The thing that I've been doing to extend the longevity of this combination, and as I said, I was pretty much in good shape after having applied this at seven in the morning, I add some more now, and if I was going back out again to lecture in the evening, I would just touch up like this and be set for the rest of the day. One thing that I think has extended this longevity is the Hourglass Ambient Light Powder in Diffused Light, which is a very pale yellow. If you're looking at this in the screen and going, wow, that looks like a weird beige yellow, you're right. That's exactly what it looks like in person. It's very light, but it's also very light on the skin. Now, I just take my Hourglass Retractable Foundation Brush. I have a couple of these in my house. I love them to pieces and I keep it in my purse. And I'm just gonna dab some of the powder across the areas where I've applied the foundation. This powder is like gossamer and it just creates this perfecting veil that is imperceptible to the naked eye. You cannot see the powdery finish, but somehow you're matte and even, and there's little to no color being imparted by this powder. So I just tap it into the skin. You can see this is a flawless canvas now with just a nominal amount of products and steps. If I wanted to go all out, I could add some bronzer and blush it's an afternoon at home, so I think I'll just leave it as it is. I was more concerned with showing you the efficacy of these products together. So to recap, I just showed you how I like to combine my By Terry Sheer Expert in number seven, which is vanilla beige, with a smattering of Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer in number six. These are both suitable for maybe the NC 23 to 25 26 range if there were such a thing and I like the combination because it perfects my skin while not looking heavy giving a beautiful kind of satin finish and it seriously matches the rest of my winter skin right now as you can see I'm looking I've got natural light shining into my house you can see where there's no line of demarcation I am so happy with the combination of these products right now and I hope that you found this quick tutorial useful, especially if you were pondering how to make these products work for you. Additionally, I did add some Hourglass Diffused Light Powder to finish it and I have reviewed this powder as well as this version of powder in the color Dim on my blog, Beauty Professor. So if you are curious and you are seeking more details on any of these products, please stop by. Once again, you can find my beauty blog, Beauty Professor, at www.beautyprofessor.net. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I look forward to creating a new one for you very soon. Take care.